Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. Uh, as you can see on the screen right now, we are doing a new Town Hall 8 base build. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be a blah, a farming base. <laughs> so uh, I've got it built over here on Clash of Clans Builder. And we're going to go ahead and get to it. Uh, just so you guys know, uh, base builds is probably my favorite thing to do in Clash of Clans for sure. I freaking love it. It's so much fun for me. Um, so that's why we're doing this today right now. But first of all, I just realized that this can be changed into a hybrid base if you guys want to. You can bring the Town Hall right in there and you can move the Dark Elixir somewhere else and, um, and put the clan castle in there as well so keep that in mind as we're building this i can even if i remember i'll show that to y'all at the end again but we're gonna go ahead and just put in our troops so as y'all know if you've watched any of my videos you know that wizards are my favorite defense so we're gonna put those in here and their job entirely is to protect all of our resources for us okay so right now we're gonna bring in our gold storage right here you can see that wizard protects that and then we're going to bring in an elixir storage right here and again the wizard protects that from uh, goblins. It's not going to protect it from archers. So I am uh, considering, why don't we go ahead and do this. Let's bring it right here. Yep, that's why it's fully protected. And then we're going to put the mortar right here, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing on this other side. Go ahead and put the mortar right there and then the elixir storage right there. So that way the wizard towers are going to protect all of it. Uh, as you can see, we already brought in two of our mortars. Let's go ahead and bring in our last of our splash defense. Uh, splash, de splash defense is super important to keep protected. A lot of times I see bases where the splash defense isn't protected too well, and uh, it's going to lose your loot for you. It's also probably going to lose some raids for you because splash defense is just really, really good against Barch. It's good against any kind of goblin attack, anything like that, where you can just do multiple... Um, multiple <laughs> where you can just do a lot of damage to one specific troop um let's go ahead and bring in the rest of our defenses so we're going to bring in one of our air defenses right here we're going to bring in mr bob king right here and then we're going to put some archers uh on the edges right there to help protect those we're going to bring a cannon in right here and we're just going to put in two other uh just resources you can put your dark elixir drill there you can do whatever you want to uh, when it comes to that area. Uh, that's up to y'all. And then next, we're going to bring in our other archers. We're going to put an archer tower right there. We're going to put a air defense right here, another air defense right here, and then another archer tower right here. Um, and the reason that I have that set up like that with these air defenses, the air defense is protected by these walls, but I don't get attacked by that many air troops. So if you guys get attacked by more air troops, then you can always switch out your uh, air defenses with the mortars right there. Again, that is entirely up to you. Um, so that's why both of those are there. And also our archer towers. Oops, what did I just move? All right, I think it went back. <laughs> also, our archer towers are air defenses as well. We can go ahead and bring in our last archer tower right here. We're going to bring in two more cannons and put those bad boys right here. We're going to bring in our gold and elixir storage. Put that right there. Come on. Come on. <laughs> we're going to bring in our last two cannons and then last but not least our Tesla. So we're going to go ahead and save that village right there. And let's go ahead and talk about it. As you can see, I have a lot of loot. So uh, there's definitely a Let's Clash video that's going to be coming out very, very soon. Um, but oh, at, while we're at it, guys, if you want to stop by the stream, I'm going to be streaming today. Uh, on the day that this is posted <laughs> in about an hour or so on twitch.tv forward slash gaming with molt so definitely make sure that y'all check that out um, <clears throat> it's gonna be a lot of fun we're gonna be pushing on our main account uh, so yeah but let's go ahead and talk about this a little bit more so you can see I have this little area right here with these traps in it um, and they go into this little storage right here so if somebody attacks and gets into this uh, into this area so they do oops so let's say they send in their wall breakers and it breaks this right here or something like that. And then they work their way in here. They're going to get to two of the resource uh, storages. So a third of them. So that's not too bad. And these traps are going to knock out whoever's first and then the bombs. Whenever you place bombs and traps, you want to spring them first and then you want to cause damage. Because if you cause damage and then spring them, 
you waste the spring trap. You get what I'm saying? So you're springing a already damaged troop, which is kind of pointless when it comes to the limited amount of damage that you have. So you always want to make sure to get rid of the troops with the spring traps and then damage the ones that are left over. So that's why that's laid out right there. We got some other spring traps in here. Um, but anybody that comes in here, instead of going over here or towards the center of the base or anything like that, whoop, we don't want to buy gems, uh, or, oops, <laughs> or anything like that, um, they're going to come in, walk right up here, and then hit this gold. And obviously the wizard is going to be doing damage to them all along. Um, and then they're going to be in there getting hit by these wizard towers as well. So I think that'll work pretty well. Uh, I'm excited to see how this defense works. But that is going to be uh, this base, but I don't really know what I'm going to call it. I've kind of run out of names because honestly, I've made like, I've seriously probably made 30 base builds on my channel, all of them unique um, and whatnot. Another thing you guys might be wondering about is why I have these builder huts in here. Uh, I built that like that because uh, if somebody drops off wall breakers over here or even over here, they'll hit right here and then they should come to right here thus leaving these walls intact. As long as you are, so if a wall breaker hits right here, it's gonna cause damage to that wall, this wall, and this wall. It's not gonna cause damage to this one because they only go in threes. So anything surrounding a block is what they attack. So uh, they hit this one, they cause damage to the two around it. So one, two, three. They can only cause damage to those walls. So this wall will be fine and they won't be able to get into the middle of the base. So that's why that's there. Uh, but yeah, so, oh yeah, I was gonna share all this. So we can bring, this out and we can bring our town hall in if you want to bring this out here and bring that in here so there we go if you want a transformer base then you can always do that as well so uh, we're gonna put our clan castle back where it was and our dark elixir storage and that's gonna be it for this episode I guess we can call this the transformer base uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I really really do appreciate it again Make sure you stop by the stream twitch.tv forward slash gaming with molt you guys rock I mean that and as always make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later